really happy I got this shot. This I got this new uh, let me call it like a suction mount for uh, the car, and which will help me to get like some nice car shots. And it's already helping me with some creative shots instead of the basic shaky camera stuff. Everything is a bit more steady now, and I'm gonna definitely abuse this thing and use it so much. You guys are gonna get you guys gonna get spam. Anyway. Let's talk about New Year, New You. Today is 2024. I did start my year with a bit of a bummer. I was pretty sick for the whole, let me just say the first week of January. And now it's time for me to get into my grind and get started and get this bread and being serious with creating content. 2024 is finally here and you can see everyone creating new goals, starting new habits, and we both know that New Year, New You is a big BS that we tell ourselves to motivate ourselves to start creating let's just say creating a new person of us or becoming a new person and we can see ourselves let me just give you guys like mostly we stick to these goals for like three months max and that's when we start becoming lazy we start not focusing and doing the things that we actually want to do and stop becoming the person that we want to become if that made any sense at all so i thought about how i can start achieving my goals without losing the consistency of actually doing the steps that I need to achieve them. So, last year I had actually created like a different method, I took a different approach to achieving my goals and reaching them, and that is by creating a vision board and a habit tracker. Vision board, everyone knows what that is, but a habit tracker, what did I basically do? The habit tracker consisted of my little habits I could do each day to achieve the goals that I set for that year. So, which works? I noticed that I was more consistent in working on my goals, and the only thing I'll be doing this year, or I'll be using the same method, and the only thing I'll be doing different this year, is splitting my goals in three three months. Which means I can focus on those second goals for those three three for those three months. So I'll be doing that. Yeah. Okay. So basically, what I was trying to tell you guys is basically about the had the. The method I took last year to achieve my goals and to work on my vision board actually worked pretty well. It helped me establish some good habits and um, I did that with the help of a habit tracker. If I'm correct, I still have it here. We have a little board together with it. And basically here are all little habits I can do that can basically help me to become and achieve the goals that I will have written down in my vision board. So the only different approach this year is basically, I think I found the method that works for me. So the only method I'll be doing different this year is by splitting it into three, three months. So every three months or every month I'll have like a separate goal, stop, goal, let me just call it goal pack I'll be working on and trying to and establish little habits that are going to help me achieve that goal. So, um, what are the goals I set for this year? Honestly, because I was sick, I did not really create like a vision board like this one that you're seeing here with images and everything. I've not done that yet. I will probably still do that. But for now, I really just wanted to have like a clear sight. Okay, this is the new year, this is the new, new month, this is what I want to work on. These are milestones I want to reach. So I split my goals in basically four different themes. So which is personal, materialistic, so think about money, savings, etc. or stuff I want to own. Um, content wise, so my content creator journey, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. and studio heart designs. So I am just gonna read them off the list for you so it's so I don't miss anything. So as personal goals, I have seven different things or let me just say six improve my christianity by reading the bible daily exercise at least three times a week and maintain my health by healthy intakes cook more read more books every month at least one or two and start drawing again and making my voice louder speaking clearly so those are just stuff i noted down i'll highlight them my personal goals are basically the same old usual that i have each year but the things that i really struggle with and that i always become lazy doesn't matter how i put it it's health personal uh health uh christianity and cooking so let me just highlight that personal as health i am such i am actually a really i enjoy sports I've been a very, I've always been playing football, I've always act, have always been active as a child. But the moment I stopped football, I noticed myself slouching, I was not serious with exercising anymore. So that I'm going to pick up seriously and try to do my best to actually work and get a good physique. My goal is to have my 
physique or dream body, whatever you want to call it, uh, at the end of this year. I want to be at my peak, like peak. I want to be on my peak health-wise in this in my twenties. And then as health as Christianity-wise, I just, I just, I. I do know God and everything, but it's just I really want to be more, do more with that and see if I can implement in my contents eventually or yeah. That's just a personal thing, I really need to work on my Christianity, read more of my Bible, listen to podcasts and just stuff in general. And then as for like cooking, I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm not the, the daughter that loves cooking. I, no, I don't want to say it like that. I'm not really a person that enjoys cooking that much. My sister enjoys cooking. My mom can cook the whole day, but I'm just, I don't have that. I just don't like standing in the kitchen. So I think for me, personally, how to, I'm going to tackle that issue is by just appreciating the process of making good food and enjoying it and enjoying nice food. Yeah, like someone at work told me, cooking is like preparing nice food, enjoying good food. And falling in love with that process is something I have to do. Don't get me wrong, I can cook. I can I can I can just cook. It's just that it it's I need some more extra more motivation before I actually start actually doing that. Yeah, so basically I don't know if you guys want me to go into my goals one by one. I'll just give you guys a short like highlight of everything that I put down. That's exercising, I've talked about it, cooking more, reading books. I have a bunch of books. I have a lot of books that I got over Christmas and over the past last three months of 2023 so I want to really spend some time more reading about those and then making my voice louder basically that means for me is to just speak more clearly be myself and not be be on a uh, let me just call it don't give a shit that's it just talk and be me and try to speak clearly walk easier to people if there's something just go to the person be more upfront with my uh, voice and just just say and speak loudly, clearly, and yeah, it's I, I know what I mean with that. So, uh, and start drawing again. I did notice that this last year I've not drawn like I haven't drawn anything. It's actually very sad. As I'm, I enjoy drawing so much. It's so much fun. It's so relaxing. It's just so fun, and I had so much fun with it until I stopped. So I need to get back, yeah, get back into that too, and just invest in my creative habits again so I can also get inspired as a I'm, I'm an artist I'm creative I need to be doing stuff that I really enjoy and not only yeah, business stuff so as materialistic I'm not gonna go into the specifics as this is just the private stuff but it's basically save more uh, look into future opportunities of finding like a house or maybe an apartment to stay at honestly I don't really have to be very very honest I don't really have a rush in that because I'm really happy at home and everything. I'm, I'm not really like, I need to get out of the house. I, it's not really a must. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm allowed to stay here. So I'm grateful for that too. But it's just for my, to see in future opportunities if there are any opportunities. And I'm probably just go, gonna go for a rent house for now and just see. And I want to, that I need to write down as well. So I want to like, in, see if there are opportunities in Canada and see if I can, uh, if I will really, if that's something I really want to look into within one or two years. And as content-wise, this is the big, big, big topic or the big chapter. Content-wise, I'm going to be focusing on creating a backup system where I can put my files. And one to is this challenge for this year is to upload every single week on YouTube. That's going to be a challenge. So that will mean 52 videos this year. And I'm going to do my best to actually achieve that and just do it and uh, not get lazy and create powerful short form content. I want to invest in short form content as I've seen that it helped me grow my YouTube channel last year a lot. So I am going to be investing in that and creating proper videos right now. So probably this video is out. You, well, the first one, yeah, the first one is technically out, but from next week I'll be uploading a new, it will be like a whole series. It will be a nice, just more professional, some more editing time and just, it's going to be a bit more cleaner. And improve my storytelling is an important one. I just want to get better at writing and yeah, telling stories. That's very important. And get better at my post production. I noticed that my content creation journey. I'm very um, yeah. The scripting part and the, and creating a story, a, a, sh a shot list and everything is. I'm struggling with that. I need to get better in that and just invest more time in it so I can plan everything out. So I don't at the end when I'm editing that I have not enough footage to work on and not enough stuff and just take time 
in that in general and as for studio hard science that's a big thing i will be working on this year i want to see how far i can get with it and just how serious i can be so over the past two years i've not been serious one internship two i was just learning and everything so for this year i'm gonna invest heavily into that a lot of time a lot of energy and see how i can take that to it doesn't need to be a big stuff it can be just a small one or two i just i just want to see how it's gonna go so that's going to be a new a new website a new i have to create a proper brand book have a clear package there's just gonna be studio hard designs is going to grow and i want it to become a more professional look so that you guys can uh, yeah so that i can also just establish and use my 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 craft i don't know so i'll be creating a separate video on that on how i was getting my startup or startup getting my business back on the ground again and how my strategy is going to be and i'm going to make it a thing of me constantly mention it in one of the vlogs if i upload a new designer diaries video so that i can keep you guys up to date and also keep myself accountable on what i've done for the past weeks or days yeah that's that's basically it guys that's basically it at the end i still sat down in front of the camera and talked to you guys but i feel like that's just something i really needed to do and at the end of it all it all comes down to myself if i don't keep up with my habit tracker or do the things that i've written that i've written down i'm the only i am just the only one suffering from that and i think that that's just the thing that if i really want to achieve something i need to work hard to get that so that's my goal for this year and um I'm only, if, I, if I don't do the stuff that I want to do, I'm only slowing down my own process, and my own progress. So that's something I'm gonna do and be serious. Just get that grind on fire. Yeah. So my goal for this year is not to be consistent, but to be disciplined. Because once I'm disciplined and I want to achieve something, I have, like, okay, I need to get this done, I will be consistent. So discipline is an important, important thing that's gonna be this year. It's just be serious and just do stuff and not make excuses for myself. So, yeah, 2024 will be a year of a new beginning, and my word for the year is going to be growth. Yeah, growth. That's the one I've decided on. It's the year I am planning to travel solo. It's the year I'm planning to travel with maybe a friend. It's the year I'm going to start looking for housing. It's a year of growth and a new beginning. So, I'm excited for this year. I hope you are too. And, yeah. Next week, I'll be uploading a new vlog, don't worry. The past two videos have been not really vlogs, but for this next week, new vlog, a lot of updates, a lot of stuff that happened over the past weeks. So I'll see you guys next week Friday. And don't forget to follow me on social media, especially on my short form content on TikTok. I'm gonna be creating better content. So if you're interested in viewing that, make sure you follow me there. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.